So you wanna start selling your product on Amazon FBA or you wanna start selling on Shopify, but you don't know how to get a logo. You don't know how to create a beautiful logo that will get people to actually buy your product so you can become successful, so you can build a successful e-commerce store and brand. Don't worry, I was in the exact same shoes as you were when I was just getting started with my online business only a few years ago. And let me tell you, online business will change your life. If you actually follow correct information, and I'm happy that you're watching this video here, you'll be able to see just how, you know, how large the opportunity is today to actually go out there, sell products online, start an e-commerce business. So I'm happy that you're here with me today. My name is Dan, and I'll be telling you two ways of actually getting a beautiful logo for yourself, and one is gonna be a paid way of doing it, and then one is gonna be a free way of doing it, right? We all have different starting budgets, and some people prefer to do things themselves, and so that's why I'm gonna show you a free way to actually create a beautiful logo, as well as I'm gonna go into the rest of the graphic design that you need, so the box, as well as any kind of you know uh, product inserts that go into your product into the box so all that kind of stuff to make your product look beautiful when it gets into the Amazon warehouse or when you actually start selling it now having the logo or not having a logo will literally make or break your product whether you're selling on Amazon or you're selling on your own site on Shopify too many times I see beginners uh, with online business with e-commerce and you know they come to me and they say hey I'm not you know I'm not selling product and I go and I look at their store, I look at their uh, Shopify or their Amazon product and I see that there's no logo and there is no graphic design. And so right away, I know, you know the reason why they're not successful. And it's because as someone who wants to be successful with selling products online, you are creating a brand. You wanna create something that kind of gets people, gets customers excited about your product, excited about your brand. You don't wanna be that seller who is just copying and pasting products from Alibaba, from China, and just being the middleman, you know, just selling them on Amazon or on Shopify. That's not the way to go. I found out after selling thousands and thousands of units online, on Amazon, on Shopify, on the brand's own website, I found out that the key to success with e-commerce lies in the brand. And the best way to build the brand is from the start by actually creating a beautiful logo, a great brand name that resonates with your customer's target market and with your customer, and also uh, by creating a beautiful box design or custom packaging. So now I want you to come with me and take a look at two listings for a product on Amazon. And I want you to compare them side by side. I actually have them open right here. So it is a French press. I drink a lot of coffee. And if you know me, if you watch my videos, then you know how much I love coffee. It literally powers me every single day. And so, you know, I actually make it in a French press. I actually use a product just like this every single day. And so if I was a customer on Amazon and I was looking to buy a French press that was kind of like the stainless steel uh, design, right? Look at this one and then compare it to this one right here. This is Coffee Gator, and as you can see, the price is basically more than double, right? So one of them is being sold at $40, one of them is being sold at less than $20. And you can obviously see why. The listing in this case, right, the product doesn't have any logo, there is no custom packaging whatsoever, and it looks like the product was just taken off of Alibaba, which is the Chinese supplier website, and just pasted onto Amazon. And that might have worked in 2017, but it doesn't work anymore. And if you look at Coffee Gator, right, they're absolutely killing it. Look at look at the look at the product, right? They have an amazing logo on here. They got a beautiful box. I actually purchased this exact French press. I was blown away by the uh, material and the the packaging that they actually uh, designed for their product. And it comes with like a product insert, and it also comes with a with a coffee holder as well here. And if we open up Jungle Scout right here, which is one of the product research tools that I use, you can see that this French press is making over one hundred thousand dollars per month. That's per month, not per year. So it, it is absolutely crazy. If we look at the uh, listing right here, which is selling less than half uh, at, at the price of less than half. If we open up Jungle Scout, this one is making $3,910 per month. So you can clearly tell the difference, right? The difference lies in the brand. They built themselves a name on Amazon that's gonna last for years and years and years, and then they can actually go and sell this brand for millions and millions of dollars because that's what an asset is. You're building an asset when you're building a brand. And that is why it is so important to have a logo on your product. So now I'm gonna show you how to get a beautiful logo as well as the custom packaging that would make your product look fantastic for between 50 to $100. We can also go a little bit more expensive than that and I'm gonna tell you some things to look out for and I'm gonna share with you the exact website that I use and then right after that I'm gonna show you the free way and I've used this way as well many many times sometimes you just want to do it yourself and so even if you don't have graphic design experience you can try this out if you're just getting started you might save yourself some money all right so let's get right into the first method now you might be thinking well it's paid I don't want to pay I could use that money for you know something else because I'm on a limited starting budget trust me putting in 50 to $100 is nothing compared to the ROI 
that you're gonna make back from your product. If you think about it, for example, on Amazon, if you're making a typical, you know, a typical profit would be about $10 profit per unit sold, right? So let's say you're selling one French press, $10 profit per unit, right? If you paid $50 for your graphic design, well, that's only five units of profit. And you can easily sell five units in one day, especially once your product actually starts getting traction and starts getting organic sales, which is, you know, customers are just buying on Amazon. So that's why it is so important and it is always, always, always worth it to invest even hundreds of dollars into custom packaging and design. So the website that I use is called upwork.com. You can find millions of freelancers on here from various countries in the world. Uh, you got, you know, United States, Canada, Philippines, uh, India, right? And they all have their own respective hourly wages. So for example, you can hire very, very great people from the Philippines to do your graphic design for about $6 per hour, right? So it's not like it's gonna break your bank or anything like that. And you can also hire professionals for $50, $50 an hour, $100 an hour, all depending on the kind of quality that you want. So I'm gonna show you, especially if you don't have a high starting budget, how to actually filter out the really, really great freelancers, the really great graphic designers, uh, as opposed to you know hiring someone who's not so good. So let's go ahead on upwork.com. You wanna go up here, click on find freelancers, uh, and then we want to take off US only. And then we wanna go on the left here, hourly rate. Now this really depends, uh, First, I recommend trying out with $10 and below because you can find someone that's really, really great, especially if you don't have a lot of money to start. Try out $10 and below. If you want to have like a higher quality just from the get-go, if you don't wanna you know, risk it, then go for 10 to 30, and then 30 to 60 or anything above that will really get you someone who's professional with an extended portfolio. But in my experience, $10 and below works great. Job success, you wanna click on 90% and up, and then earned amount, you wanna click on $10,000 plus earned, and then hours build, you wanna click on 1000 plus hours build. English level doesn't matter, and that's pretty much it. And so now we wanna go here and we wanna type in logo design. And so now uh, it's gonna find us all the best freelancers that uh, according to our, to our criteria, so 90% job success and up, $10 and below hourly rate, 1000 plus hour build. So basically the best, the absolute best freelancers on this website. And so we can see there's a lot of different ones here. And how I actually go through them, especially at the lower hourly wage, um, to be honest with you, I usually don't go with the $10 and below. I usually go for like the, the 10 to 30 or 30 to 60 because I have a higher starting budget now. Uh, I've been successful with e-commerce for a few years now, but this is what I would do if I was just starting out. So let's go ahead, let's go through here. So for example, uh, we wanna see, you know, anybody who actually has experience here with, with design, sometimes you get web design. Uh, so in this case, you can like uh, narrow it down here. So logo, hit search. Okay, so here we got someone from India. 1K plus earned. And then there's also outsourcing services. You don't wanna go to them because uh, they're just gonna uh, find you some random freelancer and we don't wanna do that. Okay, we got this Vincente. This one from Pakistan. So usually these people are from third world countries, but they really do great work. Obviously you can see that uh, you know, they only charge $7.50 per hour, over $20,000 earned, there's a high chance that they'll probably make you something good. Like the A-Team, this one looks really, really great. So let's take a look at this one. This looks like it's an agency. Uh, Abdullah, if we open up his profile right here. All right, so we can read university graduate, five years plus experience. You can see down here his work history. So uh, the exact date, so right here we can see he's working actually on a lot of projects right now. So that means that he's good probably like, you know, and he's, he, has, he has a lot of extensive experience here. So, um, you know, people are leaving reviews. Here are his uh, examples. I always try to find a designer who kind of meets the style that I'm looking for. So he's got a lot of business card design. Let's see if he has any logo, um, logo design. Yeah, he has some logo design. For example, here, Reliance Home Buyers. Learning Cube, right? This is actually very great, like especially for a minimalistic logo. Oh, this looks great. He's actually really, really good. And uh, this one definitely I would consider I would consider hiring. And uh, he's only ten dollars an hour. So what you would do is you can just go to hire now, and then it's going to ask you to invite uh, them to like a contract or a job. And uh, we don't need to invite them to a job. We can just because it's optional uh, for job category. You can put design and creative, and then you can do um, fixed price. And then here, it's going to ask you later basically what your price is. Let's do graphics and design, continue. And then looking for a professional logo plus custom packaging for e-com. And then total amount, I'll put here $50. All right, that's gonna take them about five hours. That's more than enough. No due date. And then basically you just wanna write uh, what the description of, your, of, you, of the service that you want is. So for example, um, you know, hey, I'm looking for 
for a brand new logo and custom packaging box design for a coffee brand, right? For a premium coffee brand. And then, yes, I understand, hire. And then once you actually get into contact with a freelancer, what I would always do is I would send them an example uh, of, for example, this coffee getter. You can send them an example and you can show them, hey, I'm looking for box design that's similar to this right here, uh, you know, or like something that you find just like this on Amazon. There are many amazing uh, brands. And by the way, coffee getter started just like you did in your shoes. They started with private labeling. If you just started searching Amazon FBA on YouTube, or if you just started searching, you know, e-commerce, if you're planning on selling on Shopify, like, you know, it doesn't take someone with any experience to start this. Like, trust me, I started with no experience. I've scaled my businesses from zero, from nothing to millions of dollars per year and growing. So, you know, it's not like you need to have some kind of knowledge to do this. So there you go. Another way that you can use Upwork is you can actually post a job. So if we go back here and then we go to uh, jobs and then post a job, now it's going to invite freelancers from the website to actually uh, apply for the job. And so what you can do is you can do short-term or part-time work, hit continue, enter the name of the job post. So looking for professional logo plus custom packaging for e-commerce brand. And then for the job category, graphic design, hit next. And then you just wanna follow the prompt to write a good description of exactly what you want, what the product is. You don't have to put the link to your product or anything like that. Uh, usually this is done before the product is up on your uh, Amazon account or on your website anyway. Now you can also definitely find someone for much higher than $10 per hour. For example, here I selected 30 to $60 per hour. And that sounds like a lot, but in reality, like I said, you only need maybe like three or four hours from the person to actually design you some, you know, a great logo as well as great uh, custom packaging, a great box. So in this case, it's actually worth it to pay you know, even $60 per hour, because then, you know, if you're willing to spend maybe $200 on your actual uh, logo and packaging, that's gonna pay huge dividends later on down the road for you. And by the way, I highly recommend taking inspiration from your top competitors. If you do have competitors in your uh, niche, you can always go to their Amazon listing or their Shopify store, right? If you're selling on Shopify, and then you just go and you look at the pictures that they have. In this case on Amazon, I can just go to customer images at the bottom, and then I can always uh, find their, you know, all the angles that I need of their packaging. And then I can send this over to the, to the designer and I can tell them, you know, my own things that I want on my uh, packaging. You don't want to copy. You just want to take the good ideas and improve on them and use them as inspiration because that's what really entrepreneurship is not copying all right so now i'm going to show you the free way of actually getting a beautiful logo as well as building your own box design now you don't have to have any crazy graphic design experience you don't have to know you know how to actually photoshop anything there's a website called canva.com right just go canva.com and this basically is a free photoshop it's totally free you don't have to pay any licensing fees and you can go and easily create a box design as well as a logo and so in this case we can go on canva.com i'll show you how i created a logo for a shopify store that i showed in one of my other videos here on youtube and I was able to do it probably in under 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go click on create a design and then custom dimensions. And then here I'm gonna go and type in 400 by 150. That should give us enough room for the logo. So it should be widescreen just like this. And then I go click on text. And here, let's say that my brand name is Glowy Skin for like a laser hair removal Shopify store. So I'd go and click on add a heading and then I would type in Glowy Skin, all right? And then we can go through all the fonts here. Uh, a font that I love to use is called Montserrat. There we go. So I think that's the kind of text that I'm looking for for my logo. So then I can just move it over to the middle like this. And then uh, actually one of my biggest competitors, if, if I was actually going to do the store is called Hey Silky Skin. And so, you know, just taking inspiration from them, I can go and see, okay, they've got like a hand here. So glowy skin, in that case, I'm gonna find like uh, sparkles, right? So I'm gonna go on Google and type in stars emoji. And then here, I guess sparkles emoji, copy that. Go back here and then we're gonna paste it right at the front. Let's see how that looks. Boom. Yeah, that looks fantastic. And so there you go. I just got myself a logo in probably under a minute here, under 30 seconds, right? We can even go like that. That looks good. We can change the size so we can go down to like 32. And so uh, to actually get this logo on your product and to make sure that it doesn't, uh, you don't send it with a white background, you wanna click on this button download as PNG right here and then transparent background and then hit download. And then once it actually gets you the file here, you can send that over to your supplier and that's your logo. Now to create like a box design or a custom packaging. So like where your product is gonna actually be going inside, you need to get a box template from your supplier. And what that looks like, it's just it's just the file basically that shows you, uh, you know, the exact kind of like folds of the box and you can import that into Canva and you can just go and basically put text in there and everything that you need for your box. You can go and try creating your own box yourself it's really not that uh, hard, especially nowadays where minimalistic designs really, really win. 
So that is how you get a beautiful logo as well as amazing custom packaging for your product that you're gonna sell on Amazon or on Shopify. Now I wanna go over some quick key tips before you go. I wanna tell you that there's never been a better time to start an online business, especially with e-commerce. I wholeheartedly believe in e-commerce and I believe that anybody who starts today can go on to change their life. Someone who's watching this video right now, they're gonna go and make six figures, seven figures per year, even eight figures per year, starting an e-commerce business on Amazon and on Shopify. So there's no reason you can't succeed. You just have to choose that for yourself, you have to choose, make a decision right now. I will succeed with e-commerce. This will be my future. I'll be able to live the passive income lifestyle that I dream of, and I'll be able to go on and quit the nine to five forever. So take action and don't give up. And tip number two is do not try to skip this part, all right? Do not be that person, that beginner, who goes on and has an epic fail on Amazon or on Shopify because they forgot to put a logo on and they basically had a listing just like that stainless steel French press, which has no logo and no branding and basically looks like it's straight from the China factory. You don't wanna be that person, all right? And then final tip is trademark your brand as soon as you're selling successfully. This is huge. Nobody really talks about this, but I've trademarked every single one of my brands and that's because it allows you to get really, really, a much higher level of added protection on your uh, product, especially on Amazon. You can apply for a brand registry, which locks out anybody else from selling on your listing because there are things called hijackers where they can basically go on your listing and then steal some of your sales. Usually not a problem, but get a trademark and that way you're like fully protected. And I recommend getting a trademark either in Europe if that's where you're selling or in the United States with the United States Patent Office. So subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. And remember, don't give up. I'll see you soon.